Like, I, I, under I guess I just never understood that there are people that like legitimately think that you can't do that. Um, I'm just saying, man, I fit nine people in a four-person hotel room before. Not proud of it, didn't like it, the shower was disgusting, but that is beside the point. And, yo, dog, I heard you like zoners. And we're back at it again with two of tonight's shining stars, Biddy and Jewel, fighting for loser's top six. Yeah, one literally shines because it's a jewel. Uh, I don't know what a Biddy shines like, but I'm assuming it looks something like Lon Lon Milk. But <laughs> we'll, Yeah, so we'll see how everything... Uh, you know, shakes out here again. Jewel riding a hot tournament so far. Let's see what Biddy's able to bring to the table here. This is a matchup where I'm sure either side is probably not super familiar. I don't really think there's a lot of young links on uh, in New York and vice versa for Robins in New Jersey. So, as far as young links go, really the only one that we have to claim to is Extra O, who is a player who's exclusive to the city and. Jewel having only very recently returned to the city. I mentioned a little bit earlier in today's stream, but uh, he's been on Long Island for quite some time. So more acclimated to that host of uh, characters as opposed to what the city has to offer. Meanwhile, New Jersey, to my knowledge, does not have any Robins of note. So off the top of my head, if I'm if I'm missing you, I'm sorry, but until off the top of my head, I can't think of anyone. So yeah, feel free to get angry in my DMs. After I mean, there's Nairo, but you know, come on, that's like. <laughs> Like I said, no Robins of note. <laughs> At me later. Oh, boy. <laughs> Anyways, we got these two boys duking it out, and Biddy doing a fine job trying to take his lead. Ooh. Jewel playing a little bit messy right now. Biddy taking full advantage, but also getting slapped with 11 sword. Yeah, I think the big thing for this matchup is, uh, I think because Young's a little bit more like fleeter of foot, uh, it's definitely going to be harder for Jewel to get away with his projectile shenanigans. Especially because, you know, uh, Youngling's projectiles look like they're just straight up, you know, flank or flat out beat Robins. So, you know, Biddy looking very, very comfortable in this matchup right now. Really the biggest factor of Youngling's kit that's going to really help Biddy throughout this whole match is the fact that Fire Hours are his advancing guard. The fact that he's going to be able to use those in further approach, and if he does manage to land one, he knows he can get a combo out of it, is huge. Meanwhile, Jewel has to juggle multitudes of tools and take watch over those resources, all the while making sure that he has enough to actually have something to work with once he gets in on Biddy. All right, so Biddy taking that second stock, though. Jewel on the back foot. Let's see what his response is going to be. Interesting here, you're not seeing Jewel kind of... He's straying a little bit from the edge, from the ledge trapping that really uh, favored him in that last set. Maybe it's a, because of a different archetype of character, and that young Link, uh, you know, isn't a, uh, you know, a deli customer when it comes to you know, getting off the ledge. Again, that long-lasting hit of neutral air. Find Biddy sometime. Now Biddy continuing the ledge pressure. Biddy just not slowing down at all with any of this, and that never works out so well for him, man. Just stick a leggy out. Ooh! Ooh. He dead? No. Okay. Biddy trying to go for the ultimate equalizer right there with the uh, the down smash, but Jewel getting a second chance at life. The gentleman jab is still not going to be enough. <laughs> <laughs> that bomb was scripted. <laughs> that did not need to hit. <laughs> Alright, so now we know that the writers just want Jewel to take this one. Yeah, right. <laughs> this this is the Jeff Snyder cut everybody's been talking about. <laughs> Jewel winning the whole tournament. Did he continue in this pressure? Jewel just trying to find some semblance of footing. Ooh, that could have been it right there, but Biddy already committing to the boomerang. Oh, that's important to note. The um, the fire arrow, while it can connect with the discarded books, doesn't make them disappear. Oh, wow. That's that important. might be important for Jewel as the set moves forward, but it's going to move forward in Biddy favor. All right, so Biddy getting the first game on Jewel here. Looking to punch his ticket to loser semis, where he will have a date uh, with Venia. Yeah, just a quick update to the folks on the stream and stuck with us the whole time. Benny took a win over Mr. E. That's a 3-1 victory. So, ooh. Will and Venia, they're another group of players who fight each other quite often, but Biddy versus Venia, that's a match I don't think I've ever seen. That might be a match that could be fun to watch. Yeah. Let's see if Biddy can deliver it to us. As game two brings us to Smashville, and as we've already seen from Biddy, this is a fine stage for him to play on. Let's see what Jules got planned. Yeah, I guess a smaller stage, I think, uh, 
you know, Jules was like, all right, let me cut the distance that you have to camp and the distance that I have to cut down in order to get to you. So, and a center platform also going to be a huge factor here, you know, for both players. Ooh, oh, oh, Biddy. Okay, Biddy. Big brain filled with wrinkles. Yo, Biddy plays. Really great first dog there from Biddy. Honestly, playing like a man possessed today and really getting a chance to show it against one of New York's finest. In fact... Yeah, we will I'm just realizing that. now, Biddy is the highest placing New Jersey player in today's top eight. You love to one see of it, only man. two. You love it. I love it. Let's go, Gas Money. Oh. <laughs> and so Jewel having a rough time getting any sort of offense generated. You know, whatever it is, Biddy's just, you know, uh, playing kind of a step ahead of whatever uh, the tactician is throwing out. It's just the Mobile Fortress style of game works so well on Smashville because Biddy just needs to control the space from one edge of that center platform to the other. And his projectiles have an active space that goes from that edge to the ledge. And then from there, Young Link just has a very strong ledge game. It's just a perfect amount of space to control. Ooh. All right, despite the Nosferatu, Biddy continuing the onslaught right now. <laughs> El Thunder still not enough just yet. There you go. Levin there will be the uh, the ender of stocks right there for Jewel. Let's see, what is the possible be? Biddy. Oh my gosh, just weakened into the first row of seats is that forward air kill. Once again, Biddy finds himself way ahead right now. Is Oh my. But for how long? Oh, oh my god! You know, Biddy had a lead. He had a lead. Jewel didn't like that. No. <laughs> that was crazy. What a uh, reversal uh, from Jewel. <laughs> okay, is Biddy playing Cheek? <laughs> He's playing the wrong Zelda character. Yeah, no. Again, both players just kind of taking a load off. Jewel getting hit by every projectile and then the kitchen sink. It's just so much to deal with because Robin doesn't really have a lot of options to land. And anytime he's trying to land, there's just at least two projectiles in the way. Yeah, it's hard when the projectile zoner gets zoned out. It'd really be rough in these streets. Oh, what a setup from Biddy. And despite losing that second stock in, like, literally 30 seconds, uh, Biddy finds himself up 2-0 on Jewel right here, looking to uh, advance once again into loser semis. I'm not really sure what Jewel's answer is going to be here. He's giving himself a little bit more space by bringing us to Kalos Pokemon League for Game 3. But... I don't know if more, maybe more space would be the answer, just because Young League's projectiles don't cover a long range of space. Yes. They cover that mid-range perfectly, mm -hmm. and that's why I feel like Smashville is such a ridiculously good stage. But here on Palace, there's a lot of room for Jewel to be able to separate from Biddy and force an approach. That could be the difference that he needs. Yeah, I agree. I think just having the wider range to play with, because that, that small... that the. Condensing the space between him and Biddy just was not the answer right there. It was not it cheap, as the kids would say. So no, not no sir. Because when Young Link has to rely on strictly you know more of his boxing tools to kind of uh, you know approach from a distance, it's not it's still pretty good, but it's not obviously as great as the uh, projectiles he's able to you know advance forward with. Right. I see now that Jewel is trying to in turn like enter the zoning war as fast-paced as Biddy has, putting damn near every projectile Robin has to offer immediately on the field. Can the... I was curious, can the Hero Shield stop Thoron? Uh, no. Okay. Because even if it does block it, it'll go through and it has multiple active hitboxes and it'll just hit behind them. Oh, okay. Oh, so, almost got him with the book learning. <laughs> I mean, Young Link can barely speak English, let alone read it, so... Yeah, that, that, that would have killed me, too. I mean, that's what happens when you live in a village where your highest authority is a dude who side shuffles. <laughs> or a guy that sells masks. Ooh. Ooh, okay, that could have been really dangerous. 
for Jewel right there as uh, his projectile got eaten up by the arrow and Biddy was pressing down his throat, but still able to get the, uh, the proper safe positioning and the kill for it. Yeah, this is a really weird matchup where it's not often that you see Robin's projectiles almost nullified, yet the books really come in handy. Like, Jewel has been pressing a lot more item play in this set than I think I've seen in a long while. And while it's a feature of his play that's very signature of him, the fact that it's coming in clutch for him to start to even the battlefields, if not at least give him some sort of leverage, is really interesting. I think it's at least a mark of credit to Biddy's uh, talents. You see Biddy gnashing away at the ledge with down smash, trying to uh, get the stock off of Jewel. There you go. The, the level one thunder into the prison shank will uh, will buy Jewel the space he needs to get back to center stage. Ah, uh, he couldn't recatch the book. Okay. All right, Biddy just desperately trying to get the stock off right now. Jewel adding on his own pressure to forward throw. Oh yeah, that's right. That kills eventually. Not enough just yet, though. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say it's a kill throw. It's a throw that guy. kills. Ugh. That was disgusting. He was dead, and then the game took a moment to pause. Let <laughs> you know he's really dead. <laughs> Pay your respects. Oh, we're just out, out, I see. <laughs> oh my god, Robin's get-up attack. Though com comedic and animation actually uh, saved Jewel uh, some time right there. Plinking the jet is so good. It costs an arc fire bow, but for Jewel, that doesn't mean anything. If anything, that furthers his own goal because he wants to go through those charges. He knows that it's a renewable resource, so the fact that he's just able to get it so quickly and make use of the item, it just works so well into his game plan. There you go, Jewel continuing to add on his own uh, projectile onslaught right here. And that damage did not look as extreme because he didn't have the 11 sword readily available to him just then. But mark my words, it's still, uh, I'm sure, very powerful. Ooh, that was almost really dangerous for Biddy. He put himself right in the way of either Elwin or back air. Managed to dodge both. There you go, the neutral air, still gonna buy him some time. Once again, the air out of shield, continuing to add on this pressure for Biddy. Oh, that was a cute little interaction. Elwin only had one charge left. So, Jewel knew that, he jumped up a little bit, Biddy tried to cover the two elements. He got the stock eventually, but like that little mix-up, just the little things to appreciate in a matchup like this. Alright, so down to an even stock game here, let's see if Biddy's able to, you know, mount the comeback and finish things out with a 3-0, or will we see a fourth game between these two? Right now it's looking a lot like the, uh, the ladder. Yeah, Jules, it seems like now that he's given himself a bit more space from Biddy, he's found a more comfortable uh, tempo to keep in the set. Which, like, good on him, because that Smashville pick was... Ugh, not a fun one for him. Biddy completely rending him asunder. But... Biddy not oh, done okay. here yet. He got the read. That might have been that. Oh, okay, the Levin there will... Uh, Close things out for uh, Jewel. So the fourth game will be coming out between these guys. All right. Now let's see what the bands are. Jewel probably going to want to try and stay far away from uh, from Smashville. That's what I figured. Yeah, man. If he didn't ban it, my God, I'll ban it for him. Yeah, same. <laughs> A community vote. Don't go to Smashville. <laughs> Please, Biddy. Okay, no, it is Pokemon Stadium, so... All right, well, it's, you know, a decent amount of space. I feel like Jewel just needs to be smart about how well he's going to navigate the active space because if Biddy's able to just keep the lockdown on him, we may very well see Biddy advance himself into loser semifinals tonight. Yeah, you know, we will see. Again, I think the big stage in, in Kalos definitely uh, made a difference in that set, so let's see if, if the, the middle ground of the of the stages uh, is equalizer. Oh, no! He shot <laughs> He shall set you free with the uh, oh, you go. the elk, the arc fire ladders. My God, that was fantastic! But what a great start there for Jewel as Biddy now finds himself on the uh, the back foot here and taking plenty of damage on the way up. We're seeing a much more aggressive Jewel now, and 
Honestly, I feel like that change in tempo has made a huge difference. Because look at this. Oh, Swinging Lord. away a two-stock lead with only 30% built up. Swing low, sweet chariot. Koopa, we're looking at a game five. And we're not even done with game four just yet. <laughs> I've seen crazier things happen. Yeah, but it is a hell of a hill to climb for Biddy. No, I, you know, you're... You're definitely right in that case, and I definitely don't want to count him out because, you know, you can do stuff like that. Biddy is nuts, but you're not going to have enough weight to where you're able to get back. And again, you have to see, I guess you kind of have to see more of that from Biddy. You know, he, Young Link can't really, you know, I guess match the intensity of Robin, but he can at least do that off stage. You know, just make his presence known. Kid moves around. Got to take advantage of it where you can. I mean, there's also been a big thing for both players. Neither have really gone, like, super deep off stage to edge guard the other. But you gotta look at it this way, like, yes, Young Link can't afford to do so because his movement is good enough for it, but still, yeah, that's giving up all of stage control to Jewel, which we've that seen time and time again that Biddy really doesn't want to afford that. Meanwhile, if Jewel goes out stage, he has to give up multiple resources to do so. He's swinging with at least one strike of the Levin, or he's utilizing both hits of Elwind in order to come back. Like, it's that weight of pros and cons that really makes the difference for those deep plays, and... Mm, a quick plank of the jabs leads us into game five. No, two dominating games in a row from Jewel after two dominating games from Biddy. So the momentum has shifted a complete 180 in the favor of Jewel in the set, Hangman. Now, Dare I say, reverse 3 0 incoming. You said it, not me. I'm, the, I'm just saying. That is Hangman at Hangman XII. Uh, <laughs> you guys are. Feel free to get mad at me at <laughs> twitter.com. <laughs> On my free website, but again, we hope you guys have been, uh, you know, enjoying, uh, you know, the tournament so far. It's been a great top eight, and again, being able to share it with you, my man, it's been a great time, and you know, we will see how what this game five holds for us. Let's see what the pick is. Are we going back to stadium? That was a pretty gruesome game four, but Biddy is betting it all on Pokemon yeah, Stadium but, uh, two. I, we are running uh, TDSR. Biddy is not allowed to go. I don't think he's allowed to go back to Smashville. You're not, I think I don't think you're allowed to go back to the last stage you counterpicked and won on or something like that. I think that's how that works. Yes. So Biddy's options are readily limited, and we're only playing on a five-stage uh, rule set. So you know your resources are uh, <laughs> definitely uh, valuable right now. So let's see game five between Biddy and Jewel. Yeah, you gotta love it. All right, so Biddy's gonna want to stay within the Pokeball. That's his safe space. Yeah. If Jewel invades the safe space, that's where all of a sudden things go off the rails. Take that episode of Pokemon where Snorlax's Pokeball breaks. They have to transport them via logs across they the They gotta island. move the logs ahead of them. Yeah. It's also where we learned that Ash had, like, Herculean strength. <laughs> well, let's see which one of these combatants has the strength to make it deeper into tonight's top four, because this has been a hell of a run for everyone involved. Yeah, you see Biddy, you know, making adjustments to his own play, kind of playing a little bit uh, more reserved out the gate. You know, and then when he started kind of getting too aggressive on Jewel Shields, uh, you know, Jewel's able to uh, match with the best of them. Oh, bro, you're crazy! But the bomb saving is the bacon right there. Oh my gosh. Misfacing that Nair it made that a safe interaction for Biddy, but... Damn, man! We're watching the set with bated breaths. You can't be doing that to us. Yeah, man. I'm saying I'm an overweight man. You can't do that to me. <laughs> you can't. You can't ask me for a ride and then give me a heart attack. It's just not fair. I'm sorry. All right, coming back from the legend suit, Jewel is able to. He's managed to equalize the damage, but Biddy is relentless in his projectile pressure. Yeah, Jewel having a rough time getting out of the corner. Now we are literally at an even game right now. Ooh, the Zare coming down, and the Biddy Classic, the forward smash, different link, same effect. This is the first time this, I think, tournament where he has pressed the button that lets him grab, and it has worked. Yeah. Well, it's third time, I guess. I don't know. I'm who's counting, not me. <laughs> so now Biddy, the momentum is definitely firmly in his favor right now. Jewel once again blocked off on the other side of the stage now. Did he... I don't know why you'd want to approach. I think he's just trying to keep Jewel active. Like, if he kind of stays there stagnant and starts thinking, he's like, all right, he's just going to start parrying all my projectiles. So, 
At least by inching forward, you like kind of forces him to press another button. See, here lies the true bane of Robin's kit is the fact that Biddy can do this forever. Yeah. He's not running out of arrows and boomerangs anytime soon. Yeah, he's got that big quiver. Or whatever That's the deep. item. Yeah. <laughs> but Jewel, he has to be very selective about what oh he chooses my to go in with. And now, Jewel on his last stock of the tournament, potentially. Yeah, Biddy up big right now uh, in this game five. But again, the last time we saw this, we saw Biddy just outright lose a stock in like seven hits. So, yeah, uh, Biddy fell asleep at the wheel, and Jewel uh, kind of ran a. You know, he, he, he ran the gauntlet on him, so. But again, Biddy nailing all of these projectiles right now. Again, in that like really like short range, you know, Jewel just really doesn't have many options other than just like shield or get hit. Oh, great angle Ooh. on the boomerang right there. Will definitely has to be on alert right now. Let's see, what's the check? Now that he's got his lemon sword, all right, it's just gonna be Thoron thrown out. Give him a little bit of an edge. Oh, the down air, that is not gonna be enough just yet. Jewel definitely has to be careful. Still continuing to press, goes for the up smash. Don't know punish, Jewel continuing to ledge trap. Oh, but the air dodge inwards, keeping Biddy safe once again. And Jewel is not looking healthy. Oh my gosh. If the one time Biddy does not go for the down smash is an instance where he probably could have gotten some use out of it uh, again. And he's got a stock to play with. He can afford to do so. But I don't think Biddy wants to give any opportunity for Jewel to snatch this away from him. Ooh, Jewel air dodges back to the ledge. Just a little slow in the draw right there. Arrow. It's the play here. Biddy has Ooh. been... Unrelenting in everything he's able to throw. The forward but it's air, forward there we air. Go. That gives it, we see a shake of the hands as Jewel is out tonight at fifth. And Biddy joins the best that New York has to offer in top four of Players Bowl Ultimate. You love to see it, man. Let's